news. The region where Nigeria's next president should come from is usually subject to public discourse once the elections draw near. As the 2019 elections get close, the zoning debate has continued to grow. But Ogula Foster, who represents Bielsa West at the Senate, believes the best qualified person should be voted for based on merit and public acceptance. He also said appointment into political posts should not be made to please areas where the president represents or regions who voted for him. For me, don't zone presidency to any place. Let every Nigerian that is competent come out and contest. Then we pick on merit, not on where you come from. All this where you come from is the problem. Americans don't pick that this time it was a black, so the next it must be a white. No. It is not about where you come from. That is my turn. That is the problem. Until you remove that, you can't blame a president for siding his own part of the country. He also spoke on the issue of rotational presidency. In the constitutional conference, we agitated for zoning. Majority carried the vote. It was the Northerner who said, carry zoning into, I was in the constitutional conference in 1994-95. We wrote this constitution that has been amended repeatedly. But we said, put it in the constitution. Correspondent Adeoye Olalekon reports that the senator said what Nigeria needs is credible people from either minority or majority tribes who can bring development to different parts of the country. The Anambra State Police Command has denied the allegation that the Tazan Upmok killing was linked to any political party in the state. They revealed that the shootout was carried out by men of the command who chased suspected drug traffickers who were trapped in the gridlock at Tazan Junction, leading to the death of the driver of the suspected drug trafficker. Meanwhile, the Anambra spokesperson of the All Progressives Congress, Okile Madukife, has also denied reports that the party governorship candidate's convoy was involved in the incident. Everybody knew where we were by five minutes after five. And we were on live television. So they knew what we were doing. They knew what everybody in the field was doing. So if, if an incident took place at that time in Tazan, no APC, no APC boss, no Tony Woye boss could be there for any reason. The police now has a duty to tell the two stories and Anambra can take it from there. Okila warned residents and political parties to cross-check information before spreading them in order not to hit up the policy unnecessarily ahead of the November 18 governorship election. Munich police authorities say the suspect, arrested after four people were lightly injured in knife attacks in the southern German city, was not motivated by terrorism. The police say the suspect, who was arrested after four people were lightly injured in knife attacks in the southern German city of Munich, is known to the police for bodily harm, fraud and theft. The man reportedly assaulted passers-by in several places near the eastern part of the city centre. According to police, the suspect was captured travelling by bicycle a few kilometres south of where the attacks took place and did not resist arrest. Manchester City manager Pep Guardiola says he hopes Dina will be on Sergio Aguero when he becomes the leading scorer in Manchester City history. Aguero moved level with Eric Brook on 177 goals at the top of City's all-time list by breaking the deadlock from the penalty spot during Saturday's 3-0 win over Burnley. It meant a goal-scoring return for the Argentina striker three weeks after he suffered a broken rib in a car accident while Nicolas Otamendi and Lero Sané also got on the score sheet. And that's the news.